Hey everyone, Shishank this side. I hope you all are doing well today and safe at home. As you can see on my screen, topic for today is Amazon LightSay. This is one of a compute service from Amazon Web Services, which is basically meant for developers or the DevOps engineer who want to just kickstart their project on the development side without worrying about the underlying infrastructure related to storage, databases, networking. Because LightSail is a service which works on the basis of virtual private server with a pre-configured or pre-assembled system. So you don't have to worry about where you are provisioning an EC2 system and on top of that you are deciding what kind of database has to be installed or what kind of networking VPC model has to be implemented before starting your development project. So I have jotted down few points regarding light sale. We will go through that first and will follow that by a practical demo. So light sale, as I said, it's a virtual server, storage databases and networking for a low and predictable price. So basically it works on the concept of virtual private server where we get fixed hardware, fixed networking, storage and rest of the other relating stuff. And we just have to concentrate on the development model of the project instead of worrying about the underlying infrastructure. This is one of an easiest way to get started with AWS if you need a virtual private server. Light sale includes everything you need to launch in your project quickly. A virtual machine, SSD storage, data transfer, DNS management and the static IPs. So to, to get started with any of the project, what do you need? You need a server, you need a network, you need a storage, you need DNS or, or you need an IP addresses. With light sale, we are getting everything at one place. So it, it is one of an easiest way to get started with an AWS project onboarding any kind of project on this particular cloud model. And the pricing model is quite low for this. I'll show you the pricing model once we do the demo section. After you create your instance, you can easily connect to it. You can manage your instance using light sale console, API or CLI interface. So we have three options console, API, and CLI. Now, who is LightSail for? Who are the intended person who can use LightSail? So mostly they are the developers and the DevOps engineers where you can choose an image of your LightSail instance that jumpstart your dev project so you don't have to spend as much time of installing softwares or the frameworks or the network infrastructure. It can also help you to deploy and manage basic cloud resources you might also be interested in learning or experimenting with the cloud services such as VMs or networking. LightSail also provides a quick way to get started. It has all the images, the basic images of your operating systems, development stack like LAMP, LAMP, which is Nginx, and SQL Server Express Edition, which is basically a free version of the SQL Server and applications like WordPress, Drupal, and Magento. Now, just imagine guys, you want to develop a project on AWS. So basically you are trying to onboard a project or application within your AWS cloud. What do you have to do? So you have an option to create EC2 instance as a platform where we know like what kind of underlying infrastructure we have to go with. What kind of EC2 instance, T2 micro or M5 large or X1 series or different series, right? We have to decide all those stuff plus whether you want to go with an EBS volume or provisioned IOPS or rest of the other volumes. Before doing that, you have to create all the networking infrastructure in which VPC, what is the CIDR range, the subnets, the NAT gateways, internet gateways and all the rest of the other stuff. All these comes into picture when you want to onboard any project within your cloud environment. Now, let's say if we are simply need a system with a pre-configured, pre-assembled configurations where we just want to run our application without worrying about the underlying infrastructure. That's where the light sale come into picture where it helps you to give all the needed requirements for a project, for a developer to onboard a project within AWS Cloud. So that's the benefit of light sale for the developers or the DevOps engineer or even the infrastructure the infrastructure guy who want to do some kind of an R&D stuff to want, want to learn uh, on the development side of uh, AWS. Okay, so I hope this clears a lot in terms of the theoretical concept, what light sale is, who are the intended audience 
that light sail uh, can be used for and how you can configure the light sail from the theoretical point of view now it's time for the practical demo so let's jump to our AWS management console this is my AWS management console if you go to services they have changed the interface now if you go to services as I, as I said earlier it's a compute service so click on light sail this will open up a new console with the light sail lightsail.aws.amazon.com that's a light sail console here is the console amazon light sail we are at the home page we have the document section as well aws and the billing plus the account you will get a customer support and all those stuff now light sail now offers the content delivery network distributions as well so earlier the support for the cdn distribution was not there with the light sail now again if you're not aware of the cdn network i have already done a demo on cloudfront which is a cdn network for amazon web services please go through that in short, CDN is a content delivery network where it helps you to fasten your uh, performance of your application. So for example, if I'm using a, a CDN network, then a person hitting from US will get the request from the nearest edge location of the data center that CloudFront has. If I'm hitting from India, I'll be getting the nearest location of the edge servers I'll, to get the response of an application. So, yeah, CDN is one of a good service across the industry and most of the industries is using CDN network regardless of your Akamai or CloudFront or Google CDN. Okay, fine. Now here in the dashboard of LightSail, what are the options that we have? Instances, you can create an instance. You have no instance right now. This is a fresh dashboard. Databases, you can create a database as well. Networking. That's a virtual private server networking, static IP distributions, load balancer, DNS zone as well. Storage, you can create a disk and the snapshots. Okay, so from where we have to start, right? So let's go to instances and click on create instance. Let's see what are the options that we are getting from LightSail. The location is showing as Virginia. That's fine. The availability zone is 1A. Now, Pick your instance image. So we have two platforms. One is with the OS, one is with the blueprint where you get application plus OS or if you want to have only OS, then you can go with that as well. Within Linux, we have 26 blueprints. Within Windows, we have four blueprints. Now within Windows, we have a support of 2019, which was not there earlier. It was only with 2016 and 2012 R2. If you click on app and OS, this is coming with the SQL Server Express Edition. But when you go with the Linux and Unix platform, we have certain number of flavors. Amazon Linux, then Ubuntu, then we have Debian, OpenSUSE, CentOS, FreeBSD. Click on app and OS, we have WordPress, WordPress Multisite, LampStack, Node.js, Drupal, and all those related stuff. Django and all those stuff we are getting with the app plus os environment so for this video i'm going to take wordpress which i use a lot or you can take uh, lamp stack as well but wordpress is something uh, it's used a lot across the industry so i'm going with the wordpress i'm going with uh, app and os so and you can see the wordpress version is 5.4.2 okay now here you can add the launch script Basically, during the boot time, if you remember, if you create a UC2 instance, you can install number of uh, softwares or the configurations while booting up the instance. So that's where the launch script will come into picture. You can change the SSH key pair. As of now, it's using the default SSH key pair for connecting an instance. So click on this and I'm going to download my default key pair. Allow. It's downloaded. You can enable the automatic snapshots. So snapshots basically create a backup of your image of the instance with the attached disk on a daily schedule. So if you click on enable, it will ask you to do the scheduling, right? So I'm not going to do that. Now choose the plan. Here is the pricing model comes into picture. So for the first month, it is free. Although it's $3.5 based upon the usage, what we are getting 
512 MB of uh, memory, one virtual CPU, 20 gigs of SSD and one TB. Then if you go with uh, the other one, which is $5 and this is basically a monthly model, right? $5 price per month, $10, $40 and it, can, it goes up to $160, which are, which are the new sizes, right? That's the highest one. We can uh, select based upon the memory as well, processing, which is CPU, storage and transfer okay so transfer is 7 tb which is basically comes with uh, 160 dollar per month okay so let's go with price per month and we'll select the free tier for sure i'm going to identify my instance as wordpress one you can add the tags as well hit create instance so this will going to take bit of time to provision an instance like a minute or minute and a half because it's in pending state you can see that now we recommend let's see the recommendation over here we, we have noticed that you just have created a wordpress instance godaddy pro site can help you to manage all your websites from one dashboard so when it comes to a dns side of the house you can go with the godaddy or you can have route 53 as well so based upon the requirement we can uh, select our dns provider so I'm not going to do that for now. Now here we are getting public IP. This is dynamic public IP. So if you stop an instance, this will be going to get changed. You can assign a static IP address to this instance as well. What are the options we have here? You can click on connect, manage, stop, reboot and delete. Plus if you see this option, you can click here as well to connect to your WordPress site. Okay. so. As you can see, like it has changed from pending to running. So let's try to click here. Let's see if it is up and running or not. Connecting to your instance. An error occurred, we were unable to connect. So it will take bit of time. Now, if you go to your databases, you can create your own database as well. So click on create database. What are the options that we are getting? MySQL, PostgreSQL, right? And these are the pricing model, $15 per month. For first month, it is free. Then it can go up to $115 and based upon the memory processing storage transfer, you can select. This is, this is the standard if, and we have a high availability system as well, which comes with a $30 at minimum for per month. Okay, even uh, if you, Go with the Postgres, you can select the version. These are the versions supported by the Postgres within light sale. I'm not going to create any databases for now. If we go to the networking section, from here you can assign a static IP address, CDN network, DNS zone, load balancing as well. Load balancing was not there before, they have added it, uh, which is a good practice for uh, any developer for a project, right? Storage, if you click on create disk you are getting ssds and 8 gig plus the pricing they have given it can go with the custom 256 maximum that i have used with this disk over here is 128 not more than that there was some requirement for me uh, on the light sale for one of my project and snapshots you can uh, enable snapshot that it will take every day one snapshot for your instance that what we have created. I showed you the option as well. Okay, now let's again try to connect to this instance. Generally, it takes a minute or a two to connect to an instance. Yep, here we go, Bitnami. So we are able to connect to our instance, right? Now the next part, Let's try to hit our public IP address on HTTP. We'll be going to see some WordPress website for sure. Here we go, hello world. The famous hello world is everywhere, right? So this is a sample page. Welcome to the WordPress. This is your first blog and all those stuff. You can edit all these stuff as per your requirement, but by default, we are getting it. So we have a login scenario as well with the instance so we can edit our uh, requirement based upon the design and everything that what we want to have for our website right 
let me minimize this a bit so mostly it's lock in yep so this is the wordpress site and uh, you can log into your uh, environment you can get the username and password by default it is uh, admin that you can set it you can set it from uh, the instance level as well so they have an instruction given to that okay perfect so i hope this clears a lot in terms of how you can use light sale as part of your uh, kickstart of the development project because this is one of our useful service within as part of the compute service from aws so that's it guys for this particular video try it out on your account try to kickstart of your development project with aws light sale as this is one of a good service within uh, compute of aws if you're facing any issue please out a comment in comment section and i'll be there to help you have a nice day bye bye